Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. In the previous class, we have seen the introduction of research. What is research? And the scope of research, we have seen some definitions also. Today, we will see important topic types of research. When you go for research, you may get a question, what type of research you have done? You have research related to which type of research? So, you may get a question. So, then you need to have an understanding that what kinds of research are there, then what I have done, it is related to which type of research, right? So, that is why you must know types of research. Do not get confused. I will make it simplified and if you see the textbook, you may find, oh, what is this? Or how can I understand? There is no tough at all. Easily you can understand. So, types of research, mainly the types of research are four types of research. The first one is that on the basis of application, means how do we apply? On the basis of application, second one on the basis of objectives. What is the object of research? Based on objectives, we have different types of research. And third one on the basis of extent of theory, extension of our theory work. So, on that basis, we have different types of research. And fourth one on the basis of time dimension, as per the time, okay? Four types of research are there basically. So, under each and every uh, base of this research, you can divide into sub research. Say, first example on the basis of application. Under this, we have two types of research. In the same way, on the basis of objectives, we have three types of uh, three types of research. On the basis of extension of theory, two. On the basis of time dimension. We have two cross and longitudinal, but longitudinal is having once again three. Nothing to worry, first let us focus only on first one, on the basis of application. On the basis of application means how do we apply and uh, how do we select the case that research that is based on the application. As per the application, we have two kinds of research. The first one is that pure research you can say or basic research you can say or fundamental research also. Basic, pure or fundamental research, both three are same. So, this is the first research. What is this pure basic research means generally without any specific problem. We are selecting a case, we are entering into a, in entering into a research without any basic problem. It means we are not finding any basic problem, but we are just wanted to search it. What could be the right, right problem? How can I get into the problem? How can I search the problem? So, without knowing the problem, we are simply entering into the research. I just want to research it. If I get it something, then I will go in depth. In that way, base, base research, doing the research. So, that is we call it as a pure research or basic research or fundamental research. On the other side, applied research. Applied research is here basically scientific knowledge is required. Scientific knowledge, how we can implement this one? What are the results we are going to get? So, how can we give the conclusion? Everything is systematically scientific way we are applying everything that is why we say it as applied research. Pure basic fundamental research is without knowing any problems, simply taking anything and doing the research. And here we are identifying specifically any particular problem, especially in scientists and also in the world economic uh, banks, world bank or uh, any other uh, great ones like uh, stock exchange you can take any serious problem they identified scientifically, they just wanted to prove, they just wanted to give a conclusion. That is we say it as applied research. So, on the basis of application, we have two. One is pure, basic or fundamental research. This is first one. Second one is that applied research. This is on the basis of application. Am I clear? Next, on the basis of objectives. What is the objective? Why do we want to do the research? The objective point of view we have three kinds of research. First one is exploratory research. Exploratory research, research means we are going to focus on the new insights. Whatever we are doing the business and whatever is going on in the organization, that is okay, but we wanted to 
through we wanted to focus on the new insights so if we fo if we do this what will happen if we just go for experiment of another concept what will happen like we are focusing only on the new concepts or new insights so that is why we say it as exploratory new concepts we are just focusing and second one we say it as a descriptive descriptive means generally it goes in depth that research goes in depth generally phd researches it is descriptive my phd was also in the form of descriptive research descriptive research means what happens here we are going to go we are going to discuss the problem in depth it will give you the answers for the queries okay answers for the queries like uh, who what when where how for la such kind of questions it will give you the answers that that is why we say it as a descriptive research okay and third one is that casual experimental casual experimental means generally it focus on the evidence of cause and effect if you do this what happens what is the effect cause and effect basis when we do any kind of research that we say it as a casual experimental okay so this is on the basis of objectives can you able to remember exploratory descriptive and casual experimental clear second one is over now let's focus on the third one on the basis of extent of theory theory extension how we wanted to do the experiments so that on the basis of extent of theory we have only two types of research the first one is a the theoretical research second one is empirical empirical research theoretical research means it focuses on the existing work new ideas which is not existing it is not going to focus already existing work anything else we can do can we focus on something new so focusing on new ideas of the existing work say for example we are uh, following particular planning particular funda we are following for the organization the same planning the same strategy can we do some other experiments can we make some alternatives how we can make it so that is discussing by the theoretical research that is why existing work new ideas which is related to the theoretical research and the second one is that empirical research empirical research is direct observation i have observed something direct observation and also experience i experienced i observed so according to that i found that this is the case to be such to be taken as a research part so that is when it is possible direct observation direct experience i found it yes this is something new this i wanted to do it so a such kind of research we say it as a empirical research these two are on the basis of extension of the theory am i clear now next easy one on the basis of time dimension basis of time how much time we wanted to take so according to that we have only two the first one is that cross sectional research cross sectional research means here you are going to focus on the uh, one point in time we have taken some base you have taken some base for the research that base that units we are going to search it only once once we have searched once we have verified over finish no second time taking few data and that is also only one time we are doing the experiments when we follow this cross sectional research it is going to be a least cost cost will be less because we are doing one time only and also going to save the time time saving one so this is cross sectional research on the other side longitudinal research longitudinal research so this is quite opposite to the cross sectional in longitudinal research units more than one time we are going to observe some units means some data we have taken that we are going to observe more than one time here only one time but here more than one time we are going to observe it obviously when we are going to observe more than one time it will take some time much time compared to this and also expensive time and cost both will be more in this longitudinal research this longitudinal research it can be divided into three parts also once again 
सो दो आर फर्स्ट वन टाइम सीरीज रिसर्च टाइम सीरीज रिसर्च मीन्स टाइम वाइज से रिसर्च पीरियड हाउ मच टाइम इज रिसर्च इज रिक्वायर्ड से आई वॉन्ट टू कम्प्लीट दिस रिसर्च इन वन मंथ थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ्स और वन ईयर थ्री ईयर्स लाइक पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड वी आर गोइंग टू डिसाइड इट इन दिस टाइम सीरीज रिसर्च एंड सेकेंड वन पैनल स्टडी रिसर्च पैनल स्टडी रिसर्च ऑल्सो इट्स रिलेटेड टू द टाइम बट वी आर सेलेक्टिंग सेम कैटेगरी ऑफ पीपल सेम काइंड ऑफ ग्रुप If I am taking same kind of category, same group of people, then my data will be easy. I can get the data easily, and whatever conclusion I wanted to give, that will be a proper way. Whereas, if I am not going to follow same symmetric, then the outcome should be something different. That outcome will not tally exactly what I expect. That is why here panel study research, we are taking a group of people, group of community whose mindset whose attitude whose income and whatever you are searching related to that it's almost similar getting it in the same way coherent study research so this is quite opposite to the panel in coherent study research we are focusing on different category of people different kinds of groups so that we expect that the data should be something different I am focusing on all areas, all groups. Now, whatever may be the outcome, but let me take all kind of category of people. So that we can say is a coherent study research. Am I clear? Take a screenshot or note down. Nothing to worry. One time, two times, observe it. You will understand it, right? And the. i gave you small simple definition like small one for every uh, research what it is in one word you can you will be able to remember it in that way i have mentioned this table so learn it it is very important types of research you may get in essay or short also right so focus on this and in the coming classes we'll see more topics related to the research methodology by the way did you subscribe to our channel if not please do subscribe and share this videos with many students because it's free of cost it the benefit must be taken by many people many students it has to spread to many people so please help them to learn the subject it's easy nothing is tough so this is our ambition and uh, support our channel study well throughout your semester and revise before exams focus and have a bright career see you in the next class good luck